Okay. In this video, we will show you how to set up the MPLAB Excel project. Okay, first you need to uh, open up the setup guide, which can be found in the microcontroller system resources folder, uh, which you have copied to the D drive earlier on. So you just go to the installation guide uh, folder and open up the item number four, MPLAB X uh, project guide. Okay, next is to launch the MPLAB X uh, IDE. Okay, just double click the icon to launch the IDE. It will take a while to load the IDE. Okay, I'll just put these two uh, side by side for easy uh, referencing. Okay, you can read the guideline for more details on what is MPLAB X uh, project. Okay, most importantly, always work inside a project, even though there's only one file uh, in the project. Okay, to create a new project in MPLAB X, there's actually are three methods. Okay, first method is to click on the file, then new project. The second method is to click on this uh, create new project icon. And the third method is to click click on the create new on the start page. I'll, get, I'll just use the third method. Okay, so the first step is to select microchip embedded from the categories and then standalone project. Then click uh, next. So we need to select the PIC18 F0520 chip. It will be under the advanced 8-bit uh, MCU family. And for the device, just browse for the P18 F0520. So make sure you select the correct chip, okay, which is this one. Okay, as for the tool, you can select PK3 if it is connected to your computer. Otherwise, you can use uh, no tool. We can always change this uh, in the project setting later on. So for now, I'll use uh, PK3 since it is connected to my computer. Then uh, click uh, next. So the next step is to select the compiler. We'll use XC8 uh, compiler. You should have installed this uh, earlier on. Then uh, click next. Okay, the final step is to name our project. Okay, we will just standardize and name it as uh, quotes. So for a project location, just keep it in the workspace folder in the microcontroller systems uh, resources folder. Make sure that the set as a main project option is checked. And finally, just click uh, finish. Now, once the project is created, you should be able to see this page with the file panel on the top. So all the files are related to the project will be uh, displayed uh, here. And the navigator pan uh, below, which will display the information about the project. So you can click on this uh, icon if you wish to change the project setting. So you can change the settings such as the devices, the tools uh, used for the project, or even the compiler. So if you wish to check the project location, you can click on the general. You should be able to find the project location here. If we go to the project folder, you should be able to see the code X folder generated in the workspace folder. Okay, next we will need to add the config.h header file into our project. First, copy the file to the code X project folder. 
So you can find the file in the workspace folder. So copy this config.h into the code x folder. Okay, then we will need to add the file in the IDE. So right click the header file, add existing item, select the config.h and click select. So once added, you should be able to see the header file under the header files. Next is to add a new source file to our project. So in the IDE, right click the source file, click new, then main.c. So provide the file name. I'll name it as zero underscore my first code. Make sure that the extension is uh, C and click finish. So you should be able to see the added .c file under the source files. The source file will be also created in the project directory. So you should be able to see the .c file in your project directory. Remove the pre-populated code and type in this code. Running the code on the development board. Make sure you follow this sequence to power up the microcontroller board. Step one is to connect the Piki tree to your PC via the USB cable, as shown in this uh, image. Okay, step two is to connect the other end of the picket tree to the board. Step three is to power up the board through the USB cable. So this step is important as the MPLAB X IDE might not be able to recognize or connect to the board if the sequence is wrong. So to build the project, click the clean and build icon. Make sure that build is successful. A hex file will be generated once build is successful in this uh, folder. You will need this dot uh, hex file to run the simulator later on. To run the project, click the debug icon. If the voltage caution window pops up, simply click OK. So MPLAB will start building the project. So wait until you see the running status of the Piki tree window. The code is now running on the development board. You should be able to see the D5 and D7 LED light up. To end the session, just click the finish debugger session.